good morning and welcome to another episode of our vlog. We took the, um, the last couple of days off from filming because we needed to catch up on work and also um, we went into town and did some laundry and yesterday was raining as well so yeah we've, um, we've taken a couple of days off from the camera and uh, got some really good stuff done on the vlog so they're coming your way, they're all uploaded and coming over the next few weeks and uh, yeah last night you would have seen that clip at the beginning of this vlog that was from last night's um, summer solstice sunset was it? Mm -hmm. It was so really the beautiful. first day of summer today. Exactly and I mostly missed it because I had to run back and grab the camera stuff because we weren't planning <laughs> to start filming again until today so sorry about that but yeah it's um it's another beautiful day yesterday was a bit rainy summer's out in the evening and it's really beautiful and warm and sunny again today so i think what we're going to do today is just um well, we did a bit of work again this morning but we're just going to chill on the beach mostly today and just um have a nice day yeah and you've got a salad prepared for lunch yeah made a nice salad and uh, maybe we'll go in the water later yeah we might go try get a bodyboard again and um yeah go have a bit of a splash in the waves nice <laughs> nice <laughs> sounds like a plan So this is the lunch I made. Um, I basically just copied what Hannah did the other day and chopped some um, vegetables, I was going to say fruit then, but well maybe <laughs> tomorrow well. is a fruit. <laughs> so I chopped some fruit and vegetables up and um, mixed it in a box and threw some balsamic vinegar on. So yeah, it was really good the other day. Burnt our lips a bit with the vinegar because we had some burnt lips. But yeah, really tasty. So we're just going to chomp on that now and then maybe have a little bit of sunbathing or what do you think we should do for the rest of the afternoon? Nothing. Nothing. Perfect. <laughs> So we're just making a quick run for it because the tide's coming in and it's already started cutting off the other beach we might have to scramble up the rocks um, to escape this beach and get around to the other beach again. That's well, the way we came down. Yeah. Uh, there's no one else on this beach we thought we should probably get head back up. Yeah look we're literally all alone on this beach we could just stay here because we could just climb the rocks but we, we thought we're gonna go head to the other beach and yeah. see what's around there. So this is where we could have walked around but the tide's going in now. So we're going to go back up the rocks here and over the top. And we made it. And we're just going to head back to the car park quick because somebody needs a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Duty calls. So we've got to hike all the way back to the car park. <laughs> and then we'll be heading back down to the beach. So today it has been two weeks exactly since we moved into the van. Um, so yeah, it's a bit pretty crazy actually how time has flown by already and it's already been two weeks. Um, but it feels like we've done quite a bit in two weeks and um, yeah this evening we're going on a lovely sunset walk to the coast uh, it's only about a 20 minute walk from our the farm that we're staying in tonight and it only costs us 12 pounds which we think is a pretty good bargain for around here um, and it has all the facilities you need and um, yeah lots of space so yeah nice clear evening so hopefully we get a really nice sunset
<laughs> Should we leave it like this then? She likes being high up. And there's not many high up places in the van other <laughs> than when this is open. Hello. Good morning everybody. So we've just arrived. Um, we're on this St Agnes Heritage Coast at the moment. And we've arrived at Wheel Coats, um, which is basically an old is it tin mine. Tin mine. I think. Tin mine. Um, so we're just going to walk over there now, and we're going to then make our way down to Portreath, I think it is. Um, there's like a tidal pool that looks really cool, and we want to go check it out. So yeah, we're going to have a nice walk along the coastline, enjoy the sunshine. And we've even got Cornish pasties in our bag, so it's going to be a good day. these things were for is these were for like purifying the tin so they basically had like machines in here that would purify the ore that they brought up mm. but they, like uh, the other one because the other one but it's been restored on the it? board it said this one was abandoned in, finally abandoned in 1914 mm -hmm. so it's um yeah i mean look even in the window bits there it's still got like the wooden lintels and stuff like that it's crazy So we've just got to um, wheel coats and we've been doing some nice photos and drone around here and um, normally you can go in but it's temporarily closed because of nesting birds but I don't know if you can really see this on the camera but that is pretty uh, small entrance to get into. I'm not sure I'd want to go in there, work in there. And weren't you saying that they, um, the tunnels went like so many hundred metres underneath the sea and everything? Yeah, I don't know the quote how much but yeah they go down and then they go out under the sea and these like, were built like miles. a couple of hundred years ago that's insane yeah not for me i don't think <laughs> let's go see what we can see so i'm guessing all of this stone and shingles and all this debris here that's been left would have been excavated when they had the mine here because there's a mine just up there so it's probably just been taken out of the tunnels and dumped here did you find any ore i don't know there's lots of orange it's like iron or something i don't know what do you think this is it's really orangey colored i don't know what tin, tin looks like i'm guessing they got it all <laughs> lots of slate So we just stopped for lunch and it, we saw, thought it was only fitting to be eating Cornish pasties <laughs> for lunch because this is what the tin miners used to eat and they actually ate it a specific way. Are you eating it the right way? No. I'm just eating it. Do you want to explain? Well, you're the one knows they ate it like that, right? No, wrong way. <laughs> they ate it like that. So they used to have really grubby hands so they would hold this bit, the plaited bit and then they'd eat inside. Mm. It tastes good? Mm -hmm. So we got it from Rose Cornish Bakers. Oh. <laughs> Go on in, show us how to eat it. Okay, so it's 
so so I, I pretend I've got really dirty hands so my fingers are all dirty and you hold the plaited bit like that and then you go oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Apparently they're award winning. So we um, we got back from our walk and there's a beach just here that we were going to go sunbathe on. Um, but the high tide came in and this was a massive beach this morning like when we were on top next to the, um, the mill. We could see way out and it was like a massive massive beach. Yeah. But now it's literally non-existent. You wouldn't think there's a beach there at all. So we are currently <laughs> sunbathing on a grassy verge over the beach, which is just as nice. Yeah. And we've got a bit of wind shelter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and unfortunately the tidal pool that we went to, um, because of high tide, it was non-existent as well. So we have to go back another time. Yes, yeah, so we didn't see what we wanted to see this morning, but we had a really nice walk and we got to see some really cool old mines, which was fun. Yep. And um, yeah, so I think we're going to just chill here for a little bit longer and then we're going to go possibly find a sunset spot. Yeah, maybe somewhere a bit further along the coast, maybe in St Agnes or something. I haven't made our minds up yet, but there's no signal here, so we can't make any plans. We've yeah. just got to chill. So this is the beach. The water was like way out here and you could walk right along all the way up there and all the way up there. But now even this little cove bit here is completely covered in water. So if we want to go out on the beach, we've got to wait a few hours for it to go back out because high tide has just happened to us all the way up now and pretty much to the water. So yeah, no beach here right now. Do. So where are we? <laughs> car wash. We've been looking for one of these. We're at the car wash. <laughs> and it's a jet wash one. It's one that you can do yourself. And the van has got some lovely bird poo on it. And it's looking a bit grubby. So we thought, let's give it a wash. Did anyone else as a kid absolutely love going to the car wash? <laughs> it was one of the things that we used to love as a I, well, not just me I think, but me and my siblings used to love it as kids. Just watching like the big roller brushes and then watching it all being rinsed off. <laughs> but I'm not sure, I'm not sure Sky likes it at the moment. It's one of her first experiences, so she's hiding at the moment. It's quite noisy. I think Johnny's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> 